Then they had a rat kill my neighbor. If I knew it was hate, I would talk about the real favor. When we slide, we slide, we slide, we slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, had to get turned right quick to the meat meal, you know, you feel me? But I know it's been a while since I talked like this, but it's your boy K. Lou Jr. back with another video. Hey, it's been a minute. I miss y'all, but hey, I've been, I'm still on this journey, chasing that paper, you know, running out that check, running to the bag, all that good stuff. Still on my grind. The marathon is continuing. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to Photogenics by Mirror, you know, who provided me with these nice shades aviator shades y'all should go shop i'm gonna drop i'm gonna drop the link in the description but for real all right so if i'm coming to talk to y'all y'all know i mean business as you all know i was a walk-on in college football and i just so happened to be one of those special walk-ons who got the opportunity to play so you know i dropped the blueprint for y'all wait 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 before i get to the good stuff Stop what you're doing and go subscribe and turn those notifications on. We just hit 600 subs. Yay! You feel me? Got a new series out called Life After the Draft. Showing how I'm still continuing my grind. Anyways, talking too much. Subscribe now. Sometimes I think to myself like, why they do me wrong? So that's why I gotta write this pain in my song. Somebody tell me when the rain gone. This weather got me sick and tired. Like I said, thank y'all for subscribing because I'm sure y'all did. Anyways, let's get to the good part. I talked about how to walk on, what to do, what steps to take or whatever, and how to be successful, how to play because I played as a Division One walk on, which was a major blessing. I thank God, I thank my family, thank everyone behind me for pushing me. It's truly a blessing. Everybody don't get to experience that. But I didn't really give y'all details on the tryout. What to expect at the tryout? How to prepare? You don't want to just go into the tryouts all blindly. So first off, as far as getting a tryout, you should contact the school you're interested in walking on to. Either calling on the phone, going up to the field house, get in contact with somebody and find out when there is a trial. Next, you're gonna find out there is a trial. So once that happens, you get the date, you need to be strategic. Know how much time you got and what's realistic. So, you know, most likely at the trial, you're gonna need to, you know, do the basics, which is run the 40. I advise you to just get out, run some hills, you know, Google some, um, not Google, YouTube some, um, some sprint techniques. Make sure you get your form down. Look up the form on YouTube, practice it over and over again. Because 40 is probably going to be the most important thing. If your 40 isn't up to par, it's not impossible. You just got to woo them in other aspects of your game. But if the 40 ain't up to par, they might just. So practice your 40. Practice, practice, practice. You know, YouTube will provide you with all the techniques and stuff like that. And it's really whatever you're comfortable in and stuff like that. They'll teach you how to you know, do the 40 and stuff like that. Me personally, I love the 40. I'm trying to get faster at it, you feel me? I'm trying to get to the 4.2s, 4.3s, you feel me? I'm at like a 4.5 range, 4.6, you know, which is not slow. Don't let nobody tell y'all that's slow because that's still faster than more than general society. Anyways, so your 40, and then after the 40, they're gonna wanna know how you move. Are you agile? Can you go left to right real quick? Can you change directions? Your cards, change your directions. Not Call of Duty, change your directions. So they wanna know how fast you move going left to right. So they're probably gonna test your 5, 10, 5, also important, and your L drill. I think um, one of those is called the Pro Agility Drill. I don't know, they change the names all the time, but your L drill and your 5, 10, 5. Those are very important and very critical to your evaluation process as a um, walk-on. Because they want to know, can you get in and out of breaks? Like, can you go this way fast? Can you go that way fast? Those are all vital aspects. So, 
you know I um it just so happened when I tried out it was unfortunate circumstances I do not recommend this I had the flu I caught the flu two days before trials they wasn't planning on having another trial I talked to them they was like yeah that's all you if you're not here you're not making a team so I was like okay I told my situation so I ain't had no choice but to go out there <laughs> With the flu. I know, I know. It sounds terrible now being that we're in the COVID-19 day, days in the world. But, hey, I kept my distance. I social distance. Hey, I keep dropping this remote. Kept my distance. I social distance or whatever. And I got it done. I was so tired. After every drill, I was bent over. <laughs> I was tired. I was exhausted. But, obviously I got the job done. But anyways. So the first things we did was 40 yard dash, your 5105 and your air drills. They they really didn't look too much into our um broad jump and our vertical at the trial, but that's just personally at my school's trial that we had. This was back in like 2018. Other schools they might require you to do a max, I um, mean a vertical jump and a um a broad jump or whatever. But we didn't. So after um the 5105 and stuff, we had um we had position work. They broke us up into different position groups or whatever position you thought you played or whatever. And they watched how we moved around and stuff like that. Of course me, humbly speaking, I look great. As humble as I can, I look great. I, um, We did W drills, for, these for my DBs out there. We did W drill, we did back pedal open break, break back down the line. We did back pedal open, open, back down the line. Did back pedal open, get out to the post it's i'm a db so we did a lot of db drills you feel me not sure what the other positions did but it's pretty much like your basic drills that you're expected to know like your your day one drills they're gonna put you through the drills that they think everybody should know which is it's common sense you feel me so i advise to more than anything get out on the field and do your position drills because that's at my walk on trials that's where the biggest difference was saw was seen I can't talk but that's where the biggest difference was seen like you can tell who was on the field working and who wasn't on the field working like I'm just me just me personally I'm just like you can tell who really invested time into it because it's gonna be walk on trials if they have an open trials like to the public not public but the general population of the school it's gonna be a lot of people out there but it'll be easy to weed out weave out weed out weed out who is um who really dedicated their time to preparing for this because it was me and um a few of the, uh, my friends we tried out you know we went out and did our thing because you know we was working we was on the field every day i advise you to do your db drills not db drills but do your position drills at least three out of four three to four days per week you feel me get out on the field move around Whatever position specific drills you feel like is essential for your positions, do those. Make sure you do those. And like, also on top of that, work like your 40 technique. Work your 5 and 5 work your L drills. As far as like weight room, I wouldn't strongly emphasize getting in the weight room. Like lift weights, but like it's not a huge emphasis. They're not gonna put you under the bench at the trial. Be like, oh, lift this, let's see what you can do. Cause anyways, they put you on the team you're going to join um, the weight program. You're going to gain weight and stuff like that. So they're not looking too much into your size. Of course, decent height, whatever. Depending on your position, they want decent height. But like I said, if your position work is there, you don't got nothing to worry about. Worry about. I, I keep talking. Mess I hadn't talked in front of the camera in so long. Y'all forgive me. I'm trying my best. You feel me? But anyways. Yeah, so... um. That's pretty much it. Like, just go and handle business. Ain't too much to it. You know, just keep your faith. Don't lose motivation in yourself. Cause preparing, you gonna your mind is gonna start wandering everywhere. Am I ready? Am I ready? Your nerves are gonna be everywhere the day of. Especially you see those college coaches out there, and the college players just watching around and stuff like that. It's important to also try to network. If you know some players and stuff like that, talk to them, hang with them. So like you won't be so nervous around the environment, like, cause the nerves gonna be there. You like, oh my god, am I good enough? Am I good enough? Don't overthink. 
Shout out my boy Richie Timmy. Why are you overthinking? There's no need to overthink. But it's like, so that's basically what goes on at a walk-on tryout. From my experience or whatever, you know, it might be a little different at other schools, but pretty much overall, I feel like it's the same stuff, same principles or whatever. Not too big of a difference. Yeah. Just, just get the job done. Get the job done. You built for it, truly believe it, trust it. And hey, once you make it, come back to this video, <laughs> leave a comment, be like, hey, Lou, we did it. And look, I'm gonna be the first to congratulate you. Of course, you know, whoever you tell first. But once you come in on my video first, like soon after you get the, you know, memo that you made, it, drop down in the comments below. Shout out K. Lou Jr., you feel me? And I'm gonna shout you out. <laughs> but yeah, I, like I just truly want y'all to see, be all great. Be great. That's why I'm giving, I'm giving the, um, the T. I ain't gonna say T. Nah, I ain't gonna say T. I'm giving the sauce. That's it. I'm giving the sauce. So, hey, go get the job done. Get that 40 right. Get them position drills right. Remember, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. Repetition makes perfect. Over and over again until you can't get it wrong. You feel me? See, you can't get it wrong. Sometimes you might need to slow down and just walk through it, even with the 40 and all that. But until you can't get it wrong. So you want to perfect that? Mm -hmm. No. Last thing, don't forget to subscribe. It's your boy K. Lou Jr. Checking out. It's a blessing. Stay tuned in to track my progress in my career journey to becoming a professional football player. But hey, it's a blessing to be here. I will do something great. I will be something great. Shout out all my people in my corner. Shout out to all my subscribers. Because y'all got me here to 600. I'm excited. I'm trying to get to 1,000. So let's keep rolling. Let's keep this show going. Let's tune out. Bye. One thing that I found out. I ain't have one woman. Got to have three. One woman just don't hold me down. One woman just to lift me up. Oh, yeah. Now you got to have one woman. Get on the side. It really don't